It's hard for me to believe, but 30 years ago, it sure doesn't seem that long, I was sitting where you are today, about to graduate from high school and go off to college. I'd like to share some of the perspectives I've gleaned over these years. First, be optimistic. Don't spend time worrying about things you can't control. Society and the economy will always have challenges. When I graduated high school, the economy was in a deep recession, much like today. Bad times, like good times, always come to an end. It's just part of the natural cycle. Instead, focus on what you can control, your education, professional skills, friendships with others. Steve Jobs said it well with, my favorite things in life don't cost any money. It's really clear that the most precious resource we all have is time. Second, do what you love, but with a caveat. Before you spend years studying or perfecting a skill, make sure there's a market for your skill. Will anyone pay me for my skill? If not, you have a hobby, not a profession. <laughs> Hobbies typically don't pay as well, or you just support yourself. Third, try to have a variety of skills. So if an industry changes, or technology makes something obsolete, you have another plan. We've all heard the phrase, the only constant is change. And guess what? Not only is it true, the pace of change is accelerating. We are becoming a worldwide economy connected through technology. Industries and companies come and go all the time. It's been said that the most creative people are those between 20 and 30 years old. Use your youth to your advantage. Fourth, never give up. Rely on yourself and don't blame others. If a profession doesn't work, try something else. If that doesn't work, try something else again. The more you try, the more the odds of success move in your favor. Even better, once you find a good career, you can ride that for a period of time, perhaps your entire working life. Just remember to keep your skills fresh and be open to new ideas along the way. And fifth, love and appreciate your country. I have a friend born outside the United States that came here with nothing and made a good life for himself starting a construction company. He says, if you're born in this country, you've already won the worldwide lottery. I don't watch a lot of television, but one of my favorite shows is The Amazing Race, where couples race around the world experiencing different cultures of people. Watch a few episodes of The Amazing Race, and I think you'll all agree that we live in a pretty great country. We're doubly fortunate to live in the, United, in the Bay Area, one of the most dynamic areas of the United States. So finally, I'd like to close with my belief that I'm confident every one of you has a bright and optimistic future. And a great life, however you define it, is achievable for you if you're willing to put in some effort to get it. As you move forward in the next chapter of your life, look forward, not backward. Make us proud, be safe, good luck, and may God bless each and every one of you. Thank you.